Welcome to Technorazzi. I'm Dirk Ducharme. Last week we met with John Hammond of Indicate Technologies in Santa Clara, California. John demonstrated for us the capabilities of a multi-sensor vision system. This week, John shows us an entirely different type of vision system. This, uh, this machine here is the uh, SmartScope Flash 500, uh, manufactured by Optical Gauging Products out of Rochester, New York. It's equipped with a special micro sensor that we'll, we will see the results of here. And we'll be also looking at the TrueMap software by TrueGauge that allows us to do some surface metrology analysis. What we're going to look at today is uh, kind of a unique application for this uh, for this particular product. This is a uh, well. You tell me what it is. Well, it's it's it is interesting in that um, we're using a, the Flash 500, the SmartScope Flash 500, with the Rainbow Probe to measure an electrostatic chuck for 300 millimeter wafers. These chucks hold wafers during their processing. We, we can see the surface of this, and uh, looks like there's very small raised. Pads. And the top surface of the raised pads define a surface where the chuck will be pulled against. The concave or uh, void area next to the pads is uh, generally called the field. The, the parallelism of the plane establishes the, how flat the wafer will be held and the coplanarity between the, the top of the pads, which are called mesas, and the field below uh, affect how well this wafer will be held in place. And I'm assuming it, it being a semiconductor wafer that it's important that it be held pretty darn flat. The flatter the better. This uh, particular application is for a local uh, customer here who is uh, in the business of manufacturing uh, electrostatic chucks as well as uh, reworking electrostatic chucks that have been out in the field. The task at hand is actually during the rework process and the idea is to know where the chuck is from a flatness and coplanarity when it comes in, do the rework process, and then re-verify it on the way going out before it, uh, before it shipped. Well, step us through it. Let's see what we got. Okay. The instrument itself over here with the, the electrostatic chuck is set up on blocks. We use the vision system to locate the exterior of the chuck and so that our scans with the rainbow probe are done in a precise location. And then the, the rainbow probe does a series of concentric circles, scanning, collecting a series of points, in this case hundreds of thousands of data points across that chuck surface. And once that's accomplished, we, we have taken the data into another software package, which is in this case TrueMap uh, by TrueGauge. Um, and this is a surface metrology package, so this okay. gives us the ability to do further uh, detailed analysis of the surface of this chuck. Uh, this particular uh, image that we're looking at here on the screen is uh, a 3D representation of the chuck surface with the pads as well as the field. L let me interrupt you for just one second. Let me sh make sure I understand. You're saying the first thing that the, uh, that the smart scope flash did was, was used its vision uh, vision capabilities to define the the perimeter of the of yes. the chuck. Is that what it did? That's right. Okay, and then using that that allowed it to what orient itself in order to uh, preparation for the scan with the rainbow probe. Yes. Well, first of all, the, so the software is cycling through this topographic map. Now, over here on the left, we see a top view of the data acquired from the rainbow probe on the SmartScope Flash 500, and through the colorization, we can determine some height information. There's a, uh, on this si section over here, there's a color bar and we can, that has numbers associated with it. In this case, from positive six microns down to negative 28 microns. So that's the range of surface data okay. across this check, including the top surface of the mesa as well as the bottom surface of the field. So it looks like we have like a little hump. Yes, we do. Okay. We have kind of a saddle effect or a potato chipping of this, the top of this chuck. Uh, as, as these go across here, these cross sections, we just have this cycling through each cross section and we see a, a, a um, cutaway view of that here at, on the bottom of the screen. And let's pick one particular cross section here, for example. Okay. And we were to, to use our, our eye and our imagination to look across the top and connect the tops of these uh, surfaces here, that would describe this cross-sectional view of the mesas or the okay. pads. And if we were to look across this bottom section here, that's going to describe the surface of the field. By the way, how, how out of flat is this? Well, we, we see this, this hump here, but how big of a hump is that actually? By positioning these cursors, we can make that determination. Position one at the location, let's say the high point, okay. and maybe come over here to this side 
piece and we can tell the Z delta here is about six microns. So not much. Not much. About two and a half tenths of a thousand. Okay. So even though that looks large on the screen and this looks huge here, um, it's really a very small amount. And, and how long did it take to do this scan and come up with this data? This scan is very dense. It took about 30 minutes to, to complete the entire scan. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a very interesting application. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.